three. Missed it. Payton, the second with the rebound. That's a shot the Warriors want to see him take. Curry, one dribble after half court. Curry! Another three from way downtown, and that has the crowd buzzing here in Brooklyn. It's a two-point game. Now, back to the morning roast, presented by Timeless Coffee with Bonte and Shasky. Crank that. Crank that, baby. Crank that. Warriors are 12-2. and two. They go to Barclay Center, and they make a statement. They make a statement, folks. Blow out the Brooklyn Nets. Katie and Harden looking in the fourth quarter. Steph Curry bombs logo shots. And there's somebody on the text line mentioned earlier. <laughs> Steph Curry had a three-point shot he made that didn't even count. Oh, and that was awesome. And Barclay Center was like, oh, my God, we can't get enough of Steph. He shot we got, straight up. We got MVP chance. Shasky, we mm-hmm. got MVP chance. Mm-hmm. We got Warriors. Warriors. They're back. They're all the way back, folks. I know it's only game number 14, but they are back. I ain't afraid to say that this morning. This segment is presented by Golden State Lumber. Lumber and building materials for professional builders and contractors throughout Northern California. Visit GoldenStateLumber.com. Warriors bounce back after a loss to Charlotte on Sunday. And we talked about turning points. And mm-hmm. we'll get to Gabe Kapler in just a second. But I thought Shasky, the turning point to me was when Andrew Wiggins decided to say, you know what? Oh, two Wiggs. It's time to make my presence. Though. Yeah. And I'm looking at Monty Poole saying, man, we're going to get scoreless, even though he's playing solid defense. Mm-hmm. I felt like he was engaged. He let the game come to him, and he finished that third quarter with, uh, excuse me, the second quarter with 13 points in the last six minutes of that second quarter. And then he comes out in the third quarter and continues to run with the big dunk. I said, man, that's the turning point. Wiggins is here. Wiggins is here. He's fine. He's fine. Leave him alone. Don't need to trade him. I don't care how much money he's making. He's fine, and he's showing emotion, and you see the confidence, Shasky, growing and growing and growing and growing. And I love nothing more than a reclamation project. Guy leaves a culture that is toxic, that is terrible, and he comes to an organization that really knows just, they just know how to win. And now Wiggins, you know what? He's starting to look like a winner. How about them apples? His lateral movement on James Harden yesterday and then the recovery to swat a shot to stay with him step for step was absolutely incredible. There was a couple of sequences. Him and Looney were taking turns on the switch against James Harden. Dude, he's just a great defender. He's an absolutely great defender. And then they threw GP2 on him after he got foul trouble. I thought GP2 played a great job against him. Wiggins, if he can give me this kind of effort in terms of uh, the offensive Aggression. Offensive aggression is the way that I would describe it. Attacking the rim, hitting that three pointer before the end of the quarter. Huge. Oh, sick. It was sick. Huge. And then he's hitting his free throws. Yep. I think that's Over one 80%. of my favorite part uh, about his game. And when you're hitting your free throws, you're more apt to try to go to the rim um, because you're not afraid of getting mm-hmm. fouled and then, you know, splitting a pair. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, you brought up James Harden there because you're talking about him guarding James Harden. Let me give you an analogy on James Harden. You agree with me. Ben Roethlisberger, one of one of the great quarterbacks, really, of the last, what, 30 20 years? years? Yeah, 30. Yeah. Okay. Now, he's got the two championships, so there's some differences between him and James Harden. Because Harden doesn't have any championships. But when I measure big Ben Roethlisberger up against his contemporaries, don't you feel like Ben left a little on the table? Because he didn't work as hard physically on his body. And the last four years, five right. years, they've been kind of ugly. I can see a little bit of that, but his prime years were awesome. Were awesome. Uh, so were James Harden. Harden's. Harden's prime years were awesome, but he always left something to be desired. Where Big Ben, you know what? In adverse situations, Big Ben came through. Yes, but Bonte, Big a lot ben of his teammates through. have said year after year he didn't work as hard as Peyton Manning and as Tom yeah. Brady, the two guys he was going up against in the AFC. But I look at the game day actions, and I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with you there. But I look at game day and him playing behind the poorest offensive line for a number of years. He took shots. Taking shots. I agree. He, at one point, was sacked the most in the NFL. He had a three-year stretch. I know. Where he was sacked a plethora of times. He made plays, though. When I see James Harden in adverse situations, Uh he just taps out. No, he does. He checks out. He does. I can't say that about Big Ben. Okay. I just think the end of their careers, forget all those little nuances, because I agree with right. you there. I think the end of their careers are going to be very similar wow. in the terms of like, dude, you let yourself go. Yeah. You let yourself go, well, and it's going to be ugly. Ponte, he's making 
44 million this year. And how much do you think he's making next year on a player option? Probably 47 or something. 47 and a half yeah. million. Yep. He looks washed. I can't believe James Kevin Durant. Harden. Oh. I can't believe Kevin Durant hits his wagon at, to James Harden. And full disclosure, I told you I was probably higher on James Harden than almost any yeah. Warrior fan. B, there is no denying right now. Him and, and his body and how much he's dedicated to, to his body – Complete polar opposite from Steph Curry. Yeah, no doubt. I look at Steph Curry's conditioning. That's the last thing I'm thinking about. Yep. I look at James Harden. I'm like, dog, can you bend over at the waist and tie your shoes? Dude, and, and the thing about James Harden is, I just don't like his brand of basketball. I you've there been was a saying stretch, that forever. There was a stretch for about three months where I said, man, this guy turned the corner. He did. He turned the corner. He's passing. It wasn't all about dribble, 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 dribble. Let me <laughs> manipulate the game and draw a foul. I and that's laugh. all we saw yesterday. <laughs> dribble, 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 dribble. Let me jump into somebody and try to draw a foul. And let me contort my neck. Oh, I, got, I was hit. Oh, I was hit. It's just a joke. For as talented as he is... Like, he's going to look in the mirror one day. Now, look, he's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But he's going to look in the mirror one day as an old man. Go, you know, man, I left a little on the table. Yeah, he did. And I, I, I'm i looking you know at it. And, I'm, and to your point on KD, it's like, KD. Now, again, when he went there, he went to go play with Kyrie. But like, damn, KD, you really chose Kyrie and now eventually yeah, yeah, Harden over Steph Curry? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> It's a joke. It really is. And, and you, you're playing with a guy in James Harden who says he wants to win a championship, but I watched a guy and listened to the guy complain about not winning an MVP for three straight years. And if I like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. It took shots at Steph, took shots at Giannis. Forget Harden. I forget the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> Dude, you it's almost a joke. let it slip there. He's a, he's a joke. And then the fail. The way he like hunts for he the fouls, fouls. It drives it's a, me nuts. I'm telling you. It drives I'm me nuts. I'm so thankful the Rockets win a championship. I know you are. I'm so thankful because that would have ruined the game. And kids doing that stuff. At the AAU, and I'd rather you take 30-foot threes They're and do doing, what Harden's doing. They're all doing it. And then and then here's the other part. Someone, whether it's the Nets or someone, someone's going to max him out again. And it is going to be a horrible con. Bonte, he's making $48 million next year. Won't be a... Uh, 44 this year. Won't be a... Uh, you know what? A contending team? Won't be a contending team. Real quick on Wiggins. Yes. Real quick on Wiggins. Yes. Steph Curry on the ESP, or TNT. Yes, yes. You brought me... You tipped me to this because I wasn't this able really to good. listen to the interview. Here's what Steph Curry on TNT with Ernie, Chuck, uh, Kitty Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Here's what he had to say about Andrew Wiggins. Uh, the Wiggins kid, he has been fantastic. What have you guys been trying to talk to him about being more aggressive and being more alert defensively? You just have to bring it every night. He he has the capability to uh, to match up with anybody in this league on both ends of the floor. And, you know, you saw what happened in Minnesota a couple of games ago. Uh, in Charlotte, you know, a couple, two nights ago, he's... He, he has that ability to, to be the best player on the floor. Um, and I think if he has that confidence every single night and understands it might not show up in the score, score uh, whatever it's called, score sheet, it might, uh, it, it might show up in, in terms of a huge run, a huge block, a huge dunk, uh, or a defensive stop. Um, we need that energy and we need that aggressiveness and intensity from him. And uh, he, he's showing that you know, after, after a, a tough start to the season. He is showing that in his last four, 35 last Wednesday against Minnesota, 15 to 7 against Chicago. He had a 28 against Charlotte, mm -hmm. 14 in each half, played solid defense. And again, last night, uh, just spectacular performance from Andrew Wiggins. I underrated before he became a Warrior how athletic he is in terms of I'm in the air. And someone's trying to block my my layup attempt or my, my shot around the rim. Let me switch hands and let me finish with the left. Let me finish with the right. Let me let me do a little finger roll. Let me bank it off the mm -hmm. off the backboard. He is very creative around the rim. Very I want to see him do more of it. And he's dunking. Yeah, and he oh, missed well, the bunny. That's, that's he missed obvious. the bunny early, and then he adjusted and went in with two hands and slammed it. Like Andrew Wiggins is here. The Warriors are back. Steph Curry's here. He's in great shape too. He's great another shape. one. He's in great phenomenal shape. shape. Great shape. Warriors win. Shambri Antonio get to you on the other side because I want to hear your thoughts. Dub Nation, triple eight, nine five seven, nine five seven zero. How you feeling about them dubs? Darrell Wright, seven thirty. Young Glove, GP two eight. I can't wait to talk to him. Rick Barry, eight thirty. Oh, I can't wait to talk to him. It's Dub Nation, baby. It's Dub Nation. And that's coming up on the game, brought to you by Biotech <laughs> and Pfizer. Come rain or shine, high winds or mild breezes, blue skies or gray, it's a great time to consider getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Coming up today on Damon and Rattle. Oh my God. The King, Peter K.
King at 3.30. Debo, I mean, the 36th pick in the draft. I mean, are people serious? Fake field goal stopper DJ Jones at 4. It's a fake, and DJ Jones wasn't fooled at all. And last but not least, Steve Kerr at 5. Andre, along with Gary Payton, has given us two all-world defenders to add to the mix. On 95.7, the game. You know a spot, but not just a spot. The spot. Actually, with the all-new Nissan Frontier, you know a bunch of them. One for hitting the trail. One for catching a wave. One where this happened. Yo, where'd our tent go? Another where the fish get bigger. Becoming a parent starts long before the day your baby is born. At Kaiser Permanente, we support you before, during, and after. We deliver over 100... Everything we do at Lens Crafters is for every site that makes your life special. We offer 50% off lenses with frame purchase. Shop in store and online. Book your annual eye exam now on lenscrafters.com. Lens Crafters, because sight. Eye exams available at the Independent Doctor of Optometry at or next to Lens Crafters. Doctors in some states are employed by Lens Crafters. Offer valid through November 28th. See associate for details.
takes two vaccines to help protect you this season, the flu and COVID-19. And now you can get both shots at the same visit. Learn more at cdc.gov slash vaccines. Breaking news on 95.7 The Game is powered by Odyssey and presented by BetQL. Become a better sports better. Get smarter to beat the books. Download the BetQL app or visit BetQL.com today. 